Lesson 1. Special Bowing Techniques, Luray, Bow Retrieval, and Advanced Spiccato. The music for this lesson can be found on pages 9, 28, and 45 of your String Basics student book. This video will focus on three special bowing techniques you'll be learning throughout String Basics Book 3. The first bowing introduced on page 9 is an advanced bowing technique called Loray. Loray is a French word that means the execution of long hooked legato notes with the bow. Another word some string teachers use for this is portato, but we'll stick with the term Loray. The goal is to have a very slight separation on a series of down bows that are hooked and a series of up bows that are hooked. The markings for Loray is shown with a series of dashes located under or over the notes. And that indicates the slight separation between notes. I will demonstrate Loray in 3-4 time on open D. Did you notice how I barely separated the notes and the sound was very legato? That's what we're shooting for. In contrast, the staccato hook bowing is played on the string with quite a bit of separation. Staccato is marked with dots located under or over the notes. I'd like to return to the Loray bowing, and here's an example from page 9, number 25. It's a beautiful quartet, and the A and B parts feature markings for Loray bowing. I'm going to play part A for you. Did you notice how I just slightly separated the notes to keep the line beautiful and legato? The next bowing technique is called bow retrieval, and I'd like to show you the retrieval in slow motion. It's a lot like a bow lift, however there is a big difference. When you lift toward the frog, you're going to play an up bow, and this is an important thing because you, it will eliminate you being trapped in the tip area because you can get back to the frog. Watch. See the small up bow at the frog? Let me do this just a little bit faster. It's all about the bow placement of the up bow. Next we have Triumphal March from Aida, and it's on uh, page 28 in String Basics. As you see, we have an up bow in parentheses, and that means we're going to retrieve the bow. Watch carefully. Did you see how I retrieved the bow back to the frog for the up bow? And then I was in the part of the bow that I needed to be in, the frog. Let me demonstrate this one more time a little bit faster. Our third bowing is spiccato, which we studied in book two. Spiccato bowing, as you get more advanced, is going to be played faster. There will be a lot of string crossings included, and you will experience other bowing styles surrounding the spiccato strokes. Let me show you your spiccato on open D. I'm going to set the metronome to 132. When playing string crossings, watch my elbow. More string crossings, I will need flexible fingers and a nice loose wrist. Let's take a look in our book. Number 171, Can Can. The song features spiccato with lots of string crossings included. The best way to approach this piece is to first learn the notes in the left hand on the string. Then, once you have that learned, put the spiccato back in. The recommended tempo for Can Can is, again, 132. Practice with lots of repetition and use your metronome to keep a really steady pulse. This piece will be so much fun for you once you master your spiccato stroke.